Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes What's up family and welcome back to Tommy Bites Homestead if you are new to the channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. If you have not joined the family, go ahead and subscribe because we would like to have you here. Like the video, share the video, comment down below. Let's get to know each other. So I wanted to start this video off um, coming to you and thanking each and every one of you for emailing me with kind words, um, giving me motivation, encouragement to keep doing what I'm doing. And also a few people sent me um, some emails because I did say if you had some pictures or something you want to share with me, if I could use it, I will use it. I can't promise that I will use everyone's stuff that they send. And so I wanted to give a special shout out, first of all, to Bob and Denise. Thank y'all so, so, so much. I cannot tell you how much it means to read your email. And also, I had to write this down, what I'm about to show you in this video. It came from, the first group of pictures came from Sheila Avant. Shout out to you. Um, she sent this October 26th, but because I already had videos recorded I, and then I had videos come up that I had to do because I felt like it was an urgent need to do it, um, so it kind of pushed it back. So she is from West Tennessee, and the first two videos are store videos in her area showing the shortages that she's seen there. Then I also want to say, hey, Alana, shout out to Alana Carmen from Houston, Texas, also because her and her daughter both watch. I appreciate it. Um, such kind words, beautiful people. Um, I'm sharing the pictures. I did get consent. I did ask if you send me something, let it be something that I can use if I'm going to use it. So she sent me beautiful pictures of her and her daughter and her um, link that she sent will be down in the description box um, it is quite disturbing it, it's kind of oh when I was talking about civil defense preparing for civil defense in my uh, China video and I'm telling people in my Germany video even though it was you know, from years ago, it's all relevant. Um, we have a shortage, not just of food, we have a shortage of a lot of items. We now have a shortage of people, okay? Um, we all know what's going on. We all know what's coming down from the top and it is forcing some people to make decisions that, you know, whatever they feel is best for their family, that's what they're doing. And also, it's a wage issue. Some people want more money for what they do, rightfully so. And sometimes that falls with public service, EMS, fire department, police department, 911 callers, so the following video that you're about to see is a link that was shared by Alana from Houston, Texas. And leave me comments down below. Let me know what you think. Is this happening in your area? Have you heard about this happening in your area? And we'll talk in the comments. I'm not gonna talk throughout the video um, because I want you to actually be able to hear what's going on in the video. 
So I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to check out more of my shortish videos. I do have garden on there because I know that everything that I'm showing you can be overwhelming. I do have garden videos on there. I do have videos of the farm animals that we do have. I have cooking videos. I have so many different kinds of videos, cleaning videos, whatever you need. So don't feel overwhelmed with watching. If you need to take a break mentally from watching these types of videos, because I'm not the only one that's doing it. Again, if you feel like you need to take a break, take a break. I will be right here. Those other channels will be right here. Your mental health is more important than anything. And then you can get back in and get back to what you were doing. So I'm going to let you go to the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Join the family. Bye. Nightmare. A parent suffers a heart attack, a child has a dangerous allergic reaction, or you've just been in a major accident on a Houston roadway. It is a frightening thought for anyone. Now imagine calling 911 only to get a recording. KPRC2 Investigates recently uncovered it's happening, and tonight, investigator Mario Diaz is asking officials why this is happening. 911 in Houston, and you may get this. You have reached the Houston Emergency Center 911. All call takers are busy at this time. A recording when you may be most in need. Marco Antonio says it happened to him a few weeks ago in Montrose. He almost got hit by a car. So naturally, of course, I call 911. His reaction to the automated message after calling 911? Is this serious? Like, is this for real? There is no reason that people should be getting a recording in 2021. Community safety advocate Tamaro Bell hasn't experienced being put on hold, but says it is concerning. I can't imagine your house being on fire and you call 911 and a recorder come on. KPRC2 Investigates obtained the 22-second recording that people may get when calling 911. You have reached the Houston Emergency Center 911. It's in English and Spanish. Usted se ha comunicado. And in some cases, when the recording ends, a caller is met with silence. Until... Houston 911, do you need medical police or fire? This industry is a life or death industry. Yes. And seconds matter. Yes. But yet... There are people that call and get placed on hold. Yes. Robert Mock is deputy director of the Houston Emergency Center. He says part of the problem is a significant staffing shortage. Currently, they are down over 40 call takers. Many employees routinely working 12-hour days. Like any other industry right now, we're, we're, we're scrambling to, to hire people. Hiring is tough. Call takers for the city of Houston start between $16 to $18 an hour. Mock admits former employees have left for higher salaries elsewhere. I'm in talks with HR now looking at getting us some pay adjustments to help us be a little more competitive. But even then, the system can still be overwhelmed, much like it was during Harvey when the practice of a 911 recording was first introduced. We have our proper staffing that we need on a day-to-day -day basis. It won't happen as often. And you know, but it still will happen. Occasionally, yeah, it'll happen. Why call if I'm just gonna get a recording? Antonio's message to officials? You're playing with people's lives. Bell says when lives are in the balance, there is no time to waste. Time kills deals and people. That time matters. Your call will be answered by the next available call taker in the order it was received. So that leaves the question, who is coming for you when you need help? Get the supplies that you need that can sustain you in your home the best you can until you can get medical treatment. So don't just get food. Make sure you have your medical supplies ready. I will leave a list of a bunch of items in my description box to get you started if you are new to setting some things aside and prepping.
I'm new to it. I started last year, but I am true to it. So I'll see you in the next video and I'll see you in the comments.